channel. In this session, we will discuss the concept of trace. What is a tray? Tray is a data structure used to represent a set of strings. That is, the set of strings are represented by using try. Now, at the time of representation of a string, we have to follow some rules. That means, we are representing the strings in a tree format. And at the time of construction, we have to follow some rules. What are the rules? Suppose, in the given tree, the root node, does not contains any character. The root node contains only null. Null in the sense it does not contains any character. Suppose consider a node. A node can have children. For example, binary tree. A node can contains a maximum of two children. In the same sense, in tries. A node can contains a node can contain maximum of twenty six children. What is this mean by twenty six children? Why? Because the string is a combination of alphabets. That is A to Z. In the worst case, we have the strings of different prefixes. That is, assume we have in the worst case 26 strings and each string starts with a different character like A for apple, B, ball, C, cat, D, dog and so on. Total 26 strings. So, they have maximum of 26 children. Now, the thing is the children of a node. The children of a node are arranged in alphabetical order. That is, consider one node. The node contains many children, right? So, all the children of a particular node are arranged in alphabetically. That is, in the sense, sorted order. The sense, sorted order. Okay? These are the main rules that you have to follow. The main rules that you have to follow and one more important thing is for example consider set of strings the set of strings that have set of strings that have common prefix suppose if i have a string ball and bat so, these two strings have common word BA. Ball contains BA. Bat also contains BA. That is the set of strings that have common prefix have, have same ancestor node. In the sense, same parent node. Same parent node. That means once the string BA is written, no need to write the BA once again. No problem. Remember the rules. Based on these rules, I will explain one example. How to construct a tree. Suppose, consider some set of strings. Assume the set of strings are like this. Bell, ball, Bat, B, Cat, Cup, Rat, uh, suppose size, whatever it is. Assume these are the set of strings. You have to represent this set of strings in a tri format. Simply, this is the root node. Initially, the root node is now not only initially. The root node does not contain any character. Root node is null. Now, construct that, right? How many number of children it have at the first stage? Remember, these are the strings that starts with B. These two are the strings starts with C. This is the string starts with R. This is the string starts with S. So, 
how many different number that many number of children that means b so here we are writing all the set of strings that starts with b that means prefix i think you know the meaning of prefix but again i will represent suppose assume good is the string in this string what are the prefixes g is called prefix g o is called prefix g o o is called prefix g o o d is called prefix so this is the way first zero character zero one character zero one two character zero one two three character this is called prefix now represent all the set of strings that starts with b represent the set of strings that starts with a set of strings that starts with r and set of strings that starts with s now coming to b in b 1 2 3 4 we have four strings now how to arrange the strings the strings are placed in alphabetical order that is the children of b are arranged in alphabetical order how do you check the alphabetical order simply check the characters at the first position so first position all the characters are same so b c compared to c b is the small one that is b is written on the left side and then c and then r and then s for example in the question if size is given here even though size is given here we are written at the last why s is a small starting order now check the second character e a a e now among this what is the small one a is the small one again these two strings contains a in this case check the third character you got it so sorting in the sense not depends on the length it depends on only alphabetical order a a match and then check the third character l t so small one is l so first to construct this one b a l l that is a path contains a string you are taking a path the path contains a string this is completed obviously the second one is bat what i am saying common prefix have same ancestor node so ba is already constructed simply you have to write a new path like this b a t bat so this is also completed next b e l l b e so which one you have to construct so here l here we have no character no character in the sense b is completed and then b e b e next b e l l this is the only character l l now the thing is observe carefully generally we assume that this is b e l l but what about b e generally for this type of situations a string is ended with a dollar if you are writing dollar in the sense that is the end of a string this is the end of a string here also i am writing dollar then b e end of a string b e l l end of a string the four strings are completed now coming to this one c c match a u a is the small one so c a t dollar and then c is already completed remember if a letter or more than one letter that is if a prefix is already available no need to write the prefix again c u p cup dollar r a t dollar s i sai e so this is the way to represent a tree this is the way to represent a tree now what are the different types of trees what are different types of trees we have three types the first one is standard tree the second one is compressed tree and the third one is suffix tree standard tree compressed tree suffix tree in the next sessions we will discuss each and every tree with an example that is how to construct the standard tree along with the compact representation
This is the concept of trace. Thank you.